up, everybody? Welcome back to Black Ram GX Gaming. Happy New Year, everyone, and uh, thank you, thank you all for everything you guys have done over the last year. I see somebody liked here. I'm not sure who it was, so you gotta give me a second. If it will show me. It won't show me. Thank you, um, whoever's liked. Feel free to drop a comment so I know who you were. Um, so today, we're starting off with a new game, The Forgotten City. It was free on Game Pass for anybody who has Xbox, so check it out. Uh, I am told there's a message on the home screen of this game. Uh, Dear content creator creators, as you'll discover, this game is full of intrigue and plot twists. Please give your audience a spoiler warning. Before sharing content from beyond the white hallway, so that interested players can fully enjoy the experience for themselves if they wish to. So, spoiler alert. Uh, apparently, it's a pretty fun game. I've heard from some people. I don't think it's super popular. Maybe it is. I don't know. But anyway, let's give it a shot. And uh, if it's your first time watching us, don't forget to like and subscribe. We hit 205 followers here on Facebook after needing 200 uh, on our last episode there. So it was awesome. We killed it. Way overdid it. Kayla, thank you for the like. Cheers. And if you're on YouTube, uh, like and subscribe. Check it out. YouTube's full of uh, lots and lots of great stuff. And uh, we got all the links to different stuff below if you want to check out Instagram, TikTok. We're all over the place. So, there's the message. Eh, spoiler alert. If you never played the game, I guess you're going to see what it's about. It's good. This game was developed by a core team of three people over four years. Holy sh... Nikes. I don't know. I kind of like the brute force approach. Let's see how that ending goes. Sam, what's going on? Thank you for the uh, like. Cheers. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I Sam, thank you for the cheers as well. Cheers. So, wanna tell me who you are? Uh, let's go with Ram. I was gonna do Kevin. I don't know why. Well, it seemed it's funny. nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? I dropped my phone. I tried to get it. it. Did not work out. It does look like you took a pretty hard blow to the head. You're just lucky you've been given a second chance. Which is why I feel terrible for what I'm about to say, but I have a favor to ask. There are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. The blinking is so freaking me out. Stuck here, waiting. I need. What I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him. If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just. Yeah, stranger. What do you want to know? Uh... You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? No. How oh, did you get here? Uh, 
I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Don't you mind him. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey. It's just oh, that she's a Karen. That's why. Get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's. That's fair. Karen. Not your fault. The name. It's a stigma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, something like that. That's exactly but it. Right now, I have bigger problems, like finding Al. He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I you thought maybe you two knew dragging each other. bodies out of the river. What's I guess happening? Not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? I'll pass. All right, Thank I'll help. I have nothing else to do. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please, hurry. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. Oh. How about that? Hey, Uncanny, what up, what up? How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Cheers, thank you for the like. Squid Pro Row. I want to change my answer a little, but it's cool. Don't trip. I'm not tripping. I won't. I won't fall in anywhere. You can't change your answers. No. Okay. I know people have changed their answers in the past. And I know sometimes people say they can't change their answers, so it's a little funky. That's some Cthulhu stuff. I don't think so. It was like um. In the beginning, it said it was a team of three people who've been working on this game for four years. Uh, something about the Forgotten City. Ancient Rome. This. It means I've discovered the a game with a lot of twist Roman turns, multiple endings. Its existence is long forgotten. All what? Okay. Okay, that was supposed to happen. Woo! I told you, you changed some settings and now we can't change your answers. Well, good. You know, it might not have even been me. Except. Uh, Facebook update stuff all the time, to enter the even if it's not for the best. Step forth and be judged. So it could be Facebook. The virtuous shall be Hate to say it. With eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. So I don't really know what's going to happen. Kayla Dan, want my lawyer? The people have survived down there. Against the odds. Seems I can't translate it. One way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Al Worth. You ever see some? Okay. I thought it was like a tripwire. Oh, say it again. Um. Well, I can see why Al said, I'm going to go in here by myself. You have to stay out here no matter what. There's gold everywhere. He's just greedy. They should have made this for VR. Oh, shit. We are deep underground, okay. So it's all the gold statues. They say people back then were a lot shorter, so maybe King Midas came through here and touched them all. So this is the true Caesar's Palace, right? 
Jeez. This is where they created the salad. I truthfully have no clue what's going to happen. Much about the game. Alright, this guy... His gold. Hanging himself. And yes. Wearing modern clothing. This must be Al, but how is that possible? The salad. <laughs> I tried to fall off just because I knew you were saying that. It won't let me. To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, she'll suffer the same fate I did. Oh. I don't like that. This place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two I know Medusa's Greek, but does yeah. Roman have... Godforsaken gold. Like a Greek gold Probably Medusa. The mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. It's better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look. The magic portal I was told not to go into. Let's go. Is this a Stargate? SG-1? Hey, it's that guy I knocked over. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? I have no clue what you're saying. Yeah, you know, agricultural goddess of springtime? You're not from around here, are you? Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh, from around what here. what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try. But I'll ask again, who are you, and what were you doing in the shrine? I wonder how easy it would be to talk circles around people from uh, 2,000 years ago. I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. And you've just done it again. You're a sly one, aren't you? One more time, who are you, and what were you doing in that shrine? Uh... No idea what you're talking about. I'm from the future. Oh, wait, are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? <sighs> That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. A brutally straightforward question. We sort of lose track are of the you, date uh, down here, but it feels not right like the beginning of in the head to me. So I'd say who asked that? Early March. Cheers. It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the empire are you from, exactly? Oh, boy. Hey, not so loud. Just saying that name could land you in trouble here. If you haven't heard, his cultists burned down half of Rome last year. Horrible business. I heard Nero executed some of them, but a lot of people are still angry with them. Even down here. So, if you're one of them, keep it to yourself. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here. So it's AD. You, you seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So, let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Not laws, law. There's just one golden rule and the punishment for breaking it's well it's kind of horrific but our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him so i guess i'll let him fill you in so then are you coming follow me when i first arrived i couldn't believe there were people living down here but as you can see we've got a nice little community now only 23 of us at the moment. If you count this is nice. Missing, you can just kind of hold A and he just auto follows and I can look around. 
but it's just big and dark enough to get lost in if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your handsome new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking him to see the magistrate. That pompous old bore won't Keep it in your loincloth. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. Free drinks? Don't mind if I do. Whoa. You guys got gold people everywhere. <laughs> I still got my flashlight. So I wonder if I'm just wearing modern clothes. Told Lucretia about the dreams I've been having, and she said it might help her divine. Def define their meeting if I wrote them down. It happened again last night. The man by the river was there. As always, his face shrouded in shadow uh, from the particular ram headdress. Ram? That's me. For a coincidence. Once again, he introduced himself as Curdy and told me he dragged me from the river. He seemed smirk and said his name as if it meant something. I cannot understand. Indeed, the name rings a bell. I cannot, for the life of me, remember where I heard it. I do not think I will sleep soundly again until I know. Who is Curdy? Who wrote this? You guys have stuff to look through? This is your final warning, sinner. Ooh. Hmm. To steal or not to steal? I feel like if this was a classic game of Skyrim... Okay. So they've got, uh... Um, dog bones? We'll say that's what that was. Um... I did not see that coming. Who are you? I'm Curdy. Said something about Hercules. The wrong ancient civilization. Oh, 69 denarius. Cheers. I believe that's the coin they traded back then. And I would definitely take all of their money, but I feel like. If I do, I'm going to get turned to gold. I'm trying to avoid being a statue forever if I can. Because I think, I think that's just how the game's going to end. I don't think it's going to be like, Oh, you died. Try again. I think that would be it. Oh, this I can take. And it's fine. It didn't say steal, so it's all good. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. I think I'm just going to finish searching the bar. And then I'll uh, go back to my guide. Hello. Thank you for all your monies. Oh, a bit of a fist fight. Hmm. 
from Livia. This place is accursed. Here, Titio offers up his innards to be torn, stretched out over nine fields. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water, and the tree you grasp at eludes you. You, Sisyphus, attack and pursue the stone that always returns. Ixion turns and follows after himself and flees. And the 49. Oh, what is this? Nonsense. Nonsense. This looks like it could be a big game. May not be. I don't know. Seems to be a lot to it. So it seems like the same whisper every time, so it makes me wonder if it's the people talking to me? Oh man, that's shitty. Or if it's something else. Governor. Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia, and uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. You're not like any Roman man I've ever seen. You seem so because I wear defined, jeans. So civilized. What was that? Some kind of joke? If it was, it wasn't funny. All right. I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? <laughs> oh, well, that was easy. All right. See ya. Well, I don't want to talk to you either. Hmm. Can I just save at will? And then I can go back and try it after I... The many shall suffer. For the sins of the one.
Hey, it's very good to meet you. Um. Oh boy. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. They should just post the golden rule right outside the portal. Because, uh... How could I know? friend I'm Galerius mine uh... oh Bacchus how much did I drink last night oh and since you seem to be in a hurry you should try just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles and if it doesn't work worst thing to but don't worry all right um, so I never met the magistrate. Is he like dead, dead now? not stealing okay so last time we stole a um, bunch of gold statues came to life seemed like they killed everybody I ran after the magistrate he did some magical portal word stuff and evaporated So, how to not repeat those mistakes. Handsome. Oh, I got it this time. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. And uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but you're not like... on a bit strong don't you think I tell you, you came out of me <laughs> suddenly I don't find you let's just forget that ever happened so we can that's it all right I don't take rejection well time to go steal all your gold again and... you stay away from my money let's see what happens do I do it no I can't do it again. Oh, I mean, I could. I don't know. Cerberus lifts his shriveled head. Maybe the magistrate's not there, so... Oh, get out of the way. Yeah, okay, so I can't move her. So, like, literally any sin just fucks over everybody. Can't grab this apple? Hmm. That's a shame. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, 
not gonna lie. Kind of getting into it more and more and more as we go along here. Although I do super regret diverting to the bar instead of talking to the magistrate because he might have explained what's going on. And now I haven't got a clue where he's at. What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. She needs <gasps> the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that Kulas Kumbulates Desias won't give it to me. Sorry, wish could help. It's too late. She just slipped away. She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of silphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Desias had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friends like that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her, or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule, or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Well, unless that sounds you like have a the snake power did it. bring someone back from the dead, there's really just get me that silphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. I don't care how you get it, but I swear to the gods below. Not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetric Kamfututo and scratching his eyes out. Well, come back. Oh, yep. That person's hella dead. Where's his keys? I can break the golden rule so long as I can get back to the portal in time. That's what I've learned. Okay, so this doesn't seem to be where the magistrate is. Is it way up there or way down here? Sure is. These people are nuts. Blame everyone but yourself. If I find out that you did something to that poor sweet girl, the only golden rule is my breath. Check this. Drop it. No 
Okay. So he's here. Hopefully, uh, we're finally alone. He'll let me know what's going on. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? A curious name to match a curious accent. But I digress. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains. In good, in good time. time. More Thank importantly, you. consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Nor could I until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they left inscriptions warning the many shall suffer for the sins of the one from what we can gather breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment like the curses of medusa and midas combine turning us all to I just say I said that we've come to call it the golden rule it's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have Day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina say that now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please. Ask away. An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass? trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide. As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper as Rome has for centuries. Barbaric? Barbaric? What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years, she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, Poets, artists, and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food rations. No. And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. 
Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault, and rape, as well as theft and arson, and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbaric. Yes. Of course. What else would we do with those prisoners of war who would otherwise have been executed? And besides, there are laws for their protection as well. On occasion, but our gladiators are almost all volunteers seeking glory, or condemned prisoners who would have been executed anyway. I do not see the harm. All right, all right. But what about this? Of course, but with fewer rights come fewer responsibilities, and the right to be protected by their fathers and husbands. Hmm. But uh, you mean the blasphemous cult responsible for burning down half of Rome last year? Okay, that they seem pretty bad from angry about your that. angle. Um, what about this? Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Of course. We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You got it, bud. You don't belong in our time, do you? I wonder if I can. I'm like scared to lie. Years? That is unfathomable. Please tell me, in your time, what did you see? What has become of us, of this city? I have imagined it, our downfall, a thousand times, but it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. All I can tell you. Sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases, a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. Ah. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me? in the future? Ah, I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Won't you? Perfectly fine. Well, I suppose that's... You definitely haven't had to do it for me already. Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though, unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see what's needed here is a fresh pair of... Me? Why would you suspect me? That's right, buddy. I just told you. Suspect number I'm one. I'm about to sacrifice my own life to ensure these people... What reason could you possibly... I'm glad you hmm. think so. Without trust, without each other, we won't be able to... You mean you couldn't speak Latin before you arrived here? How 
are strange, but Crazy. the gods are active here, and their temples and sh perhaps when Proserpina brought you here, she planned. If I understand Proserpina's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the Golden Rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you create a paradox. Hey, say you think the 50 stars. The like and the shapes. Cheers. Your own time, having changed the past for all How are you doing? I'll investigate for you. <laughs> Belly full? <laughs> That's how I feel. I had a couple tacos. What'd you have tonight? Steak? I'm thinking... I'm thinking I break the golden rule. One more time. Maybe I'd have to start over again. Dickies? Oh, I haven't had Dickies in years. But it was pretty good last time I had it. I still got the cup. They always give you a cup. Nice little plastic cup. It's like, shit, I could just go here all the time and fill up my uh, cup drawer. You know, some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god. But what kind of an... Awful, incompetent God would let my sister. Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you? Hey, tacos. That was dinner a couple no nights ago. Oh yeah. Nothing. Honestly, it was. That's what I thought. It sounded good, and I couldn't wait for Tuesday, so I had to go with the tacos today. Do some yummy chicken tomorrow. I'm telling you. This mysterious god of ours. Has this lady's eyes look messed up. Either like, that, like or this. Like people are saying, it really What's is this one? just a children's game. Out of here is like is way over here. Into behaving. Oh, and I suppose I'll just have to take the word of a know-nothing barbarian who just arrived, will I? <laughs> a barbarian? The nerve! Oh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped, and, well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened. I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with The no worst is when you ask somebody no if you can help them, and they say, can you? By the harpies. Oh. <sighs> I don't want to help her anymore. Three weeks ago, we ate our evening meal together. We went into our rooms. I went to... That's it? Okay. So you'll help. Oh, you should probably take a look through her room. It... Thanks. All right. I'm not helping you out too fast, Miss Attitude. Hmm. All right. Who should we actually help out, though? I think. Hmm. Fear is proof of it. What is it, citizen? I'm a legionary of the... I act as the magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. They make Laughed at your poor behaving. Decapoda? Keep a register of new arrivals. Decapoda? What is that? Am I saying something I shouldn't? They are so yummy. Lobsters? Lobsters are delicious. So what are you playing, though? I don't understand the goal of the game. Uh, so it's called the Forgotten City. I was doing all right for myself. Uh, some lady pulls you out of a river. You wake up, and that's all you know. Not anymore. And she says, "There's some ruins behind you." My friend Al went in there. He asked, "Did I not go in? Can you go in?" So I went in, and it's the same place I'm in, but it's two thousand years in the future, modern times. It's all ruins, and everybody's a gold statue. So, 
Uh, you make your way through the city up to the shrine, and uh, you find that there's a portal there, and you find a hanged golden statue of somebody wearing future clothes. We assume that's Al. And we go through the portal, and we end up in early AD. I don't know. They have a different calendar. Uh, so these Romans ended up here in this city in the mountains where they found these Latin scribblings everywhere that said uh, the sins of one will kill everybody basically so they've called it the golden rule and basically if anyone breaks any law any rules, sins, whatever um, all these gold statues come to life and turn everyone else into a gold statue and you have a small measure of time to run to the portal, which will reset everything as if nothing had happened. And the magistrate Whatever's will dissolve the bluff, into stranger, bones. Well it's really funny. I already stole on accident. I didn't know. No one told me the rules. Terrible shame to do. And uh, I barely made it out. Just have to carry on, don't we? Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. Normally, you wouldn't have a thousand denarii, but I kept everything I stole, which I do happen to have. Oh, you have it. I'm impressed. As you should be. Thank you. Pleasure doing business. Can I help you with anything else? Well, that's terrifying. Exactly. You want to see it? Well. I'll break the rule. I'll break the rule right now for more money. I don't know how much I'll have to redo if I do this, though. I hope not a lot. The last time it said, oh, you stole more than 2,000 gold. And I know who's got that. So the lady in this bar, she hits on me the moment I come through. But then she rejected me. See? I don't know what she's saying, but she's being mean. So, I'm going to steal from her. The okay. Many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Ah! So, uh... <laughs> oh! The statues want me. And, okay. I may have made a mistake because the magistrate doesn't make it here. I don't get out. Say your magic words faster. Eee! I get the money and I escape. Oh fuck, oh fuck, run. That's how I feel. And this is how it begins. Last time, they weren't that aggressive. They've gotten more aggressive every time I've broken the rule. Salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Just make sure you can't have you disres- But listen, mo you seem to live All right, friend. So I didn't have that option before to just say I know what I'm doing, but now I do. Maverick, skip Galerius' tour. Nice. Well, that is nerve-wracking. So apparently every time I break the law, it gets worse. Also, good to know, lying, not breaking the law now. I don't really know what the laws are. Basically, no fighting, no murder, no stealing. All right. Oh, you're here. So we'll try. I'm so glad you decided to visit. And uh, uh, you try this again. Hey, Levon, how are you doing? Cheers, thank you for the like. You see. All right. So being nice to this person doesn't get me anywhere. So I gotta be mean. I think. Maybe being not interested. Oh, I see. You prefer the company of men. Maybe you should go and make friends with Virgil instead. I take back what I That option didn't work. Suddenly, I'm gonna have to steal from her again. You're so intriguing anymore. <laughs> Let's just forget that ever happened. I, right. I did not see that coming. Okay. 
She is the worst. That person. Alright, so I don't know how much I gotta restart here. Basically, this game has a, a bajillion day uh, ways that it's going to uh, go. So you can do things, all kinds of crazy methods here. Serves you right, bitch. I turned her to gold for sure. She was the first person the first time I did it. I came out and she was solid gold. Like all these people. I wonder what's this guy's story. Eh, yeah, not much. But I'll take it. Because it's not considered stealing. You gotta be uh, real mindful of where it says stealing or not. Hey, thank you, Susan. Cheers. Alright, we already got your stuff. I think now I can save this person's life too. Because this person's going to die if you walk in and you talk to Lucretia without the medicine. What are you doing in here? Can't you see this? She needs the... What? Quick, give it here. Last time I talked to her... She's like, oh, well, she's already dead, so, uh, Let me help you. <laughs> that sucks. Hopefully in a moment she should be able to breathe. Because she's poisoned and needs some plant resin. How did you know she needed this exact thing? And at this exact <laughs> moment? I'm just good like that. I'm a time I'm sorry, traveler. I must have misheard you. I think it's your accent because it sounded like you said time traveler. But whatever kind of traveler you are, that was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. But it was just me. You just saved a person's life and you should be proud of yourself. She might even be able to thank you herself in a few moments. And maybe she can tell us who poisoned her. And who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel black eyes. In the meantime, I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. Oh no. Sorry, I don't mean to worry you. But there was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues. But that was Nivia. And, uh... Anything about... I'm look... I'm... Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd... This changes everything. She kept... The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statue. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the... In she's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up... But I really wish I could reach her. Because that's the only hope one of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflicted. I really shouldn't say. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he... I just know Navia would know how to treat him. Assuming she's still alive. Really? Oh, that's right. That's I stole beautiful. that key somehow. Thank you. Let me know... Hey. Person oh, I saved. It's you. Sorry. I'm still a bit out of it. But, but was there something Thanks for saving me. I suppose. Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. The manners. As much as I'm grateful that you tried to help me. The golden rule. <laughs> That's the least of my worries. The gods may be cruel, but Maliolus and Claudia are far crueler. Oh, let it slip. Ha. Please, just leave me. Oh, persistent as Nemesis, aren't you? All right. I'd been here about a week. When it dawned on me, I'd be trapped here for the rest of my life. I could hardly breathe. 
So when my new friend Aurelia offered me a secret way out, I would have done anything. And then I learned her asking price. She was supposed to be my friend. So she suggested I take out a loan from Maliolus. I had to sign an agreement, saying I'd work off the debt over 30 years. But I figured I, I paid Aurelia, and she gave me her so-called way out. You figured it out already. I wish I'd been so astute. Drink this, she said, and you'll be out of here in no time. Of course, she pointed to a sign on her tavern saying, let the buyer beware. Then she just looked at me with... She immediately told Maliolus I'd tried to escape without... In fact, he just thanked her. And that's when I realized that... That's what I said to the magistrate. I went to Sentius and begged for help. But he said the law was clear. I'd signed it. I thought about resisting too. But... Maliola said if I didn't submit, he locked me in his villa, confiscated everything I owned as collateral, and made me wear immodest, humiliating outfits while his wife Claudia was just as bad. She sent me to work on an endless stream of futile. I'd be on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor clean for hours, only for her to pour slop on it and hiss. You missed a spot. Oh, Those this two bitch. took everything from me. <sighs> but they forgot to confiscate one thing. My hemlock. I just wanted it to be over. But it seems I... Don't you think I... I brought it on myself. I trusted one of the most callous... When I've recovered, I expect their thug Domitius will come for me. He'll escort only this time. I won't honestly. It would have been better if the... I doubt it. At least until... A lot. But it doesn't matter. I... Oh boy. I made a suicide pact with Ossius last night. He's in exactly the same position as I am. Maliolus and Aurelia set the same trap for him a month after. He's probably already thrown himself from the bluff. In if so, I'd never be... I doubt you could make it up. I don't know who you are. All right. All right. Well, you're welcome, I guess. May Apollo keep you safe. Whatever's in that great temple up there, Falvey, stranger. Maliolus. Certainly. Very well. Greetings. I'm Jordi. It gladdens me to see another foreigner, and I must say, my sartorial friend, leather boots in place of sandals, trousers with precise... I have traveled distant trade routes from the... And never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Tell me, I must know. Then you are an explorer, like me. Wonderful. You must have many stories to share. We will have much time here to get to know one another. But that, my friend, is what I do not and nothing. My <laughs> Taylor, I read Trader of like what? You mean to say with all the turmoil and terror of the? I'll tell you, it is precisely because of the golden rule that I wish to remind my friend. I say. The more of our customs we preserve. Anything you like. I hope.
a new face. Salve. Yeah, calm over? And welcome to a little community. An ancient room? My name's impossible to... I hear we have you to thank for saving Julia's luck. Look, I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my preference for male company. And when you grow up in the north as I did in the city of Novio Magos, you expect a bit of hostility. The Batavi are not... I saw enough friends killed or driven away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. But that kind of fear eats That's away over you slowly, hoops. until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. Needless to say, since I'm now living underground, halfway across the known world with an assumed name, my openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. In any case, the Romans are far more accepting, and among them, I get to be who I am. Or at least, I thought that was the case. It... Uh, it's not just graffiti. The strange thing is, I keep my... I've never really been interested in any of the men here. They're not my type. If I had to guess, I'd say... Strange bunch. They insist there's only one god, and that he, if there are any of them here, they won't admit it. Not since they supposedly burned down half of Rome last. All I know is, if these threats keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a. Who is it? You went snooping in his place? That was risky. That was risky. You're lucky you didn't cross any lines. Have you I honestly don't remember finding that out. I would talk to him myself. I think that would just inflate. Nice to talk. That's ridiculous. It's better that I talk to you, your mate, instead of you. Doesn't know me. Privacy? This place is gross. Where are you supposed to sit on that pot? Honestly, this is a pretty big place. Help! You have to do something! A man arrived in the bars. Real nasty sort, with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon. You have to do something, or he's going to break the golden rule. Uh-oh. Thank you. He's... I have to hide. Hear what? What? We don't have time for this. Ugh. Is this a trap? Why are you running directly into the place you told me? The shrine is collapsing. Seems like you're going back to your day. Probably like an achievement. Oh, hello. 
to save every single person. Flashlight. Welcome, 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 stranger. It's a sincere pleasure to tell me. Then perhaps the fates brought you. I will tell you everything I know. But first, a request. I have been the one thing I long for above all else before I die. Is a good philosophy. Let us find out. Simple question. Hmm. You have. Then you should speak with your contemporaries in the city above. Ask them about this. It is best if you come to this realization. Well, Snickle Fritz. I guess I got to. One thing about games is waterfalls. You, carry the gift of you always check them. Hmm. Is it not the shrine god or Prometheus or something? Like I don't know. That's some PS2 shit, where you literally just walk into an area and it stops to load. Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise Crispus. known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? I'm not sure I believe that, so allow me to explain something to you. I am here with orders from Emperor Nero himself to find and execute the cultist Quinctius for terrible crimes against the Empire. Well, so I think I found the guy who's going to break the, the rule. Truth, I will allow you to live. But if you lie to me, or otherwise obstruct the Emperor's business in any way, I will put this arrow through your chest. Is that understood? Thank you. Now tell me, who are you people? Oh, how very welcoming of you. You want me to let my guard down, is that it? You're not going to get your... I was told Quinctius was a cultist, but I never thought he'd be foolish enough to lead me right to the heart of his mystery cult. You say that, but if you're not a cult, then why go to such great lengths to keep this place a secret? So you admit you're not allowed to leave. Threatening me is not going to help you, but in any case, that sounds an awful lot. And I saw the inscription saying, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I take it this is some kind of mantra you all believe? One god? Oh boy. Uh, a distinction, but you've clearly been in... Now tell me, 
Where did you lot? You lot are practicing human sacrifice. Of course you'd say that, but that's what your kind do, isn't it? Our God told us to do it. I'm not winning it's here. It's all clear to me this now. This argument's not the going well. The secret sanctuary, the indoctrination, the mantra, the human sacrifice. Your cultists, and there's no doubt in my mind. What baffles me is how a person can believe in something with such zeal. They j However, you still have a chance to redeem yourself by telling me where Quintius is. Do not waste it. I'm about to say, Jesus, you suck in here. I don't think there's anything I could have said besides maybe lied. I can't win for losing. That's, <laughs> that's right. You tell them the truth and you're still wrong and I don't know. I don't believe I can say Jesus Christ, you're an idiot. I think I'll die. Nope, no win. I don't feel like there's a win here. And there's a simple explanation for that. I lied. But if you want to know the truth before you die, here it is. Once I'm done with you and Quintius, I intend to kill every last one of you. That's why I didn't want to say you'll kill everyone here. I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh! They're hunting everyone down again. No idea what you're in for. I feel like he just would have killed me again. Whoa! Did you see that arrow? Oh! My ass! I'm trying to, um, as I move through the city, memorize my path back. Uh, salve, friend. Uh, sa, dude. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. Yulia. Oh no. All right, I can do that. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know. Well, that's nice. So you can speed things up a little bit. A great plan. Memorize way back. Yeah. Always know plan B. How do I get the fuck out of here? Okay. I've got this. So this is the bitch she oh, was saying, yeah. um, was like, so oh, I'll give you a way out for a thousand gold. I'm Aurelia. This is that person. I'm not being too bored. You're not like any. I know you're a horrible person. She has to like me now. How dare you? Get away from me, you pig. Okay, so <laughs> it did not work out. Shh, shh, shh. The forty-nine melodies fetch again with incessant. Maybe try something else. Everything I've tried with that lady just leads to her. <laughs> Either saying I'm not intriguing, I like men, I'm a pig, but I know she's an awful person, so I gotta corner her. Dang, can't win there either, she just hates you. I know! She comes off like she's intrigued and then is just awful. Uh, uh, hello? So I'm wondering if, okay. When I'm told of the assassin, can I then go talk to like one of the guards? 
Can I talk to the magistrate? Maybe one of them can back me up. My name's Doolin. I live here now because I got in trouble and they, they said they had to lock me up. I don't know. I don't remember things so good. I think it's just because I was looking for treasure. Very convincing, very convincing. They said I did it. More than one. But I can't remember things so good. Then they called me mean names. They called... They called me a liar, Billy. A liar, oh. Yeah. A liar, Billy. They said I had to live here now. They gave me this. Magistrate, Magistrate Sentius to Dulius. I am writing you in relation to your incorrigible antisocial behavior arising from your obsession with the alleged lost treasure. While I am sympathetic to your plight and the passing of your guardian Hannibal some weeks ago, I wish to impress upon you an important message. The treasure you seek does not exist. Given your memory limitations, it seems likely you'll simply misremembered you simply misremembered. Most importantly, since you have on several occasions been caught trespassing, including around um, cisterns, which are strictly off limits to all citizens, I have reluctantly come to the conclusion that you are a liability to this community and must um, have your freedom limited, lest you break the golden rule. It is my hope that this letter will assist you to remember why you are incarcerated should you experience further memory lapses. What does it say? What treasure? My friend Hannibal used to look after me. He said if anything ever happened to him, he gave me this key and made me promise. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius. Hannibal said said I'm... you're me all right admittedly that was the wrong choice but I wanted to not have to talk to the guy I did not do it all right lady Help. You have to <sighs> I'm gonna save her this time a man arrived in the bars will not None of us do. The magistrate made us throw them all into the chasm. But you'll just have to imp. Are you daft or just callous? Just callous, good luck. Thank you. I have to hide. What? Why? <sighs> all right, um, fine. Come and find. Come on, Fabia, are you crazy? No, what's going on in the shrine? All right, I just had to see. Hmm. 
Okay. Fresh meat, huh? Mariolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment. The name's Domitius. You want to get to me? Too bad. He's busy. I'm glad you asked. See, he's a busy man. And this is an important day. Left me strict instructions he doesn't want to be disturbed. Bribe? That's such an ugly word. What I'm looking for is more of a... Dunno. Hey, Cap at Murday. Just make it good. Boss in Coolia. Just make. Just make. When Maliola. I think it's gone on long enough. And Maliolus is going to put. He's going to announce it in his victory speech. Because if I tell you and it gets that. It'll give old man Sentius a chance to eat. We've already lined up the votes he needs to win. Maliola. What? What? He's one of the better commanders I've ever had. That's for sure. Treat you inferior. Can't ask for much more than... I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. To bear trials with a calm mind robs. I don't see why not. Just make sure I get. This is quite a lot of people. to execute one if you knew you could be executed because your brother in arms is planning a mutiny wow it bloody well because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen it makes us all responsible it's brutal of course but effective the legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it What's gone is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms, and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But, as with the Golden Rule, I don't have any control over it. As Seneca the Younger wrote, true happiness is to enjoy the present, but the wreck. War cry. Not that it's any of your unfortunate. See, Domitius has been going around town, drawing up votes for Malioli. The man's a savage, but he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more. Sentius knows about it, of course. This place will be different with that sleaze at the helm. But I appreciate the thought. But you're new here, and I just can't see how you. In any case, if you're interested in the election. Go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be over. What business is that? A lot of people have been looking for her. Hmm. If you're accusing me of a. You're grasping at straws, and it's not going to work. I was grasping at straws. Alright. Well, that's fair. So you're not going to help me. Maybe the magistrate will. Maybe the old guy in the bathroom. I know you're reading this, father. 
please stop. Oh, don't mind me. I just live here. Oh, I wish Horatius would. I'm Sentia. What's a really? Now remind me. Oh, yes. Hmm. We're finally at We have it? I must have it. Is that about right? Ah. Uh, look, it's unfortunate. But all that matters now. Now, I assume you saw. Releasing him is out of the question, I'm afraid. Perhaps you're not aware he was caught. Look, I can see where you're going with this. You think me cruel. I assure you that it was not so long ago during the Republic. The law of the Twelve Tables would have required that he be killed as soon as he was born. So in here, we see to it that he has food, water, and shelter. And most importantly, he is able to continue living. A privilege that would be taken away from all of us were he to be released and commit the crime of trespass. The man has no self-discipline, poor comprehension of what is going on around him, and is an in. I will not jeopardize the lives of my people so that one man can go. Of course. What? Yes. What? An assassin? Yes. What are you talking about? An assassin. Then what are you doing here, talking to me? Why aren't you out there trying to stop him? You'd best go, quickly. As magistrate, I hereby Thanks declare for the help. him an enemy of Rome and authorize his execution by your hand, forthwith. Any way you can, despite my weapons ban, it's been my experience one can always find a weapon if one looks hard enough. I don't believe so, no. It's not a crime to carry out the lawful order of a magistrate. So now you're an expert on Roman law, are you? Listen to me. We are if ever there was a time to dispense with legal procedure, it would be now. Then perhaps you would prefer the feeling of being responsible for now is not the time. I feel like I'm responsible for the deaths of everybody if I kill them. Now is the time for action. You have your order. Thank you. I. If you're snooping around in my possessions, you're wasting your time. Yeah, you're not even rich. I need to find a magic weapon. Same excrement, different smell. And now, as friend to Octavia, may the Lord bless and keep you. I am so sorry I cannot risk discussing the past. this with you in person, but if I am right. When you're a believer like me, you mean blah 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 blah. blah. Oh, I have been in here, okay. But I don't think I checked out the second floor. Hmm. Oh, what's on here? You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Actually, I was. Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Huh. Why do I have to do everything? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. 
We used to go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me, said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody but Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. So I go down after him, and it's dark. And hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. A creature. Like a corpse of a man. What any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there. Without a weapon. Yeah, they're talking about weapons a lot. Hmm. Maybe I just check it out. It seems like um, dying isn't a big deal. Breaking the golden rule hasn't been a big deal. It's kind of like that Tom Cruise movie. The day after. Whoa! Okay. Is he just waiting for me now at the stairs? Let it go. Call lies. Lies to which part? I assume I am meant to kill this man. Stay down there. You stay. Maybe I can drown him. I don't think so, but it's a good chance to run. When you said that wasn't a big deal breaking the golden rule. Oh, yeah. It's, uh... It's getting worse and worse for sure. <laughs> and if they turn me to stone, it's all over. So, it, it's, a uh, A bit of a deal, yeah. Oh, my... Where you're from. I suppose it's quite usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal priestess and without due formality or courtesy ask. Well, how would I know that, lady? The proper <laughs> approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance in high office, by which time you would already know how to address me. And then you would find a way to satisfy your curiosity. But to be honest, I've often thought what an unnecessarily formal way to communicate. Yeah, that's that way is. too much work. So let's do it. Not doing that. Way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a You know, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> a young woman named Karen. Karen, you say. And nothing about that. She's 
she doesn't want to tell you her name that it's Karen, this lady who drags her out of the river in the very beginning. And you can respond with, so all the memes got to you, or what? Carries negative connotations from, from it does because of the memes. See, what are the memes? <laughs> I, I, I want to explain what a meme is. This sounds fun. So, your people make hieroglyphics depicting this accursed character, the one they call Karen. I wonder if. No. <laughs> I apologize. I don't mean to be cryptic. The one they call Karen. Have you spoken with any of the others about how they arrived here too? I really think you should. Go around and ask them what they remember and see if you need to hint. I know, I know. I just don't want to see what happened to Lydia happen to you, too. I don't remember who anybody is, so these names are killing me. Now, go and follow the thread of truth through this la And did you notice anything? Oh. No. Lydia's bed. It must be completed by... It'll be between Sentius. Why do you... You can, assuming all of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend, unless they're running, of course. Well, you're not a citizen, but if it's any consolation, there are uh, by using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Nothing untoward, of course. Of course. I'm responsible for announcing it and making. As I said, I'm pla. Well, I wouldn't describe impatience as a good reason exactly. Hmm. Yes. I have overheard some rather very well. Citizens, it is time. Let us meet to elect our magistrate. Election started. I may have made a mistake. Dang it. Once you start this, you gotta go all the way through. Oops. Ah. Uh, I apologize. Um. Where are we going? Sorry. Du dubious or whatever your name is. I'll save you. I may have started the election early, which may or may not mean the magistrate is out. Hmm, okay. There's a whole huge section of the city I haven't searched at all yet. So who all can vote? This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And this guy. Walking up all tough. Stranger. I haven't talked to him yet. Sentius Imperiosus and Marcus Maliolus Gerges. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's Looks like there's room for another voter. As Maybe the day, locked up guy? Call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Maliolus. Statius. Maliolus. Galerius. I abstain. I'm just here to observe. Virgil. Meliolus. Rufius. Meliolus. 
And finally, Domitius? If I remember right, Sadie Barker, what I did is I, uh, you have made your I just doomed us all. Your new magistrate is Marcus Maliolus Gerges. Hail Magistrate Maliolus. <sighs> I said, Hail Magistrate Maliolus. Because they did say their plan was to break the golden rule immediately after the speech. Thank you. I'm going to have to run. It's a good thing we're surrounded by statues here. Your magistrate. And now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. No more shall you walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because the tyrant Sentius told you it was... Forbidden. Yep, great, awesome. <laughs> For my first act as magistrate, I didn't I think it would work. Announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the golden rule is no more. The golden rule is real, you idiot. For his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. His sentence to fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Domitius. Here and now for your entertainment. Wait, if he dies? What you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Wait, I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, Priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Domitius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You doom us all. Lies! It is time the golden rule was exposed to what it is. A children's fable. Exploited he dies, he can't do the portal. We're fucked. All We're all fucked. <laughs> They've been planning this all along. Shut up, all of you. The magistrate has spoken. I'm gonna enjoy killing you, old man. The many shall suffer. Let's go! Sins of the one. So, I'll admit, I should have seen that coming. Let's not do that again. Trust me, bro, I'm following you. <laughs> Hey, I beat you here. Sa Salve. Fresh crops. More statues. Goose eggs. I'll be taking those. Ooh, a goat. Alright. He doesn't want to be messed with. I think this is behind the bar. Cerberus lifts his triple head. And lets out his threefold graying. Can't kill the goat. It says I can't kill people. But maybe I can kill the goat. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. I don't know. But they are ignorant. Anything is possible. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Just 
does the ocean accept? But it does not. The bloodless shadows sum the house of the ruler of the depths. They never do. A flashlight? No one cares that you got a magic light. One guy said, uh, said something about I have the light of the gods or something like there that. There is only a downward path. Help but no, me. nobody seems to care. You I'm essentially probably wearing current clothes things. and not a long dressy robe. It is better for the bloodless shadow. You think it is better for you. The new Vote for Maliolus. Oh, you're here. And uh, you know. Ugh. Let's just forget. Ugh. Let it go. You know, normally I'd expect you to buy me a drink before I. Straight to business, huh? <laughs> can work with that yep and nobody <laughs> scared of you nobody cares i don't think i'm the first person to travel back in time actually they'd all try to kill the stranger but they can't that's the problem they can't and they know it so how badly do you want Think of it this way. I have something of value. Simple. It's a one-way trip, and I'm not ready to go just yet. Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure they it out They would arrest you? Yourself. That's true. They could do that. But I promise you, you'll so far, they're just like, spend another hour in this city whatever. Ever again. Maybe you can help us? Ha, it's hardly my fault if people misunderstand the terms of a deal. I mean, it does say. I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. Certainly. For Have you met Livia? She used to do my hair until what? Now she just stands around, caked in filth, muttering. M I hear that if Maliolus is elected, he's going to throw a small festival to celebrate. Whatever. All right. All right. So I got everything I can get out of her. Um. Let's see. What should we do here? All right. We're gonna talk to the priest. I think. I think I've pretty much made my way around the whole city by now. Almost. Yeah, I, no, I think about it in reality, though. You're right, they would just straight up arrest you. If suddenly you arrived and you looked all weird and whatnot. Lane's will be. There's a lot. Can't stop your family from solution. Babylon problem. Cheers. In Rome in a long time now. Same way as every. Because we're all in grave danger. Same as everyone else thinks. Is it not obvious? The magistrate made me toss it in a cal. If you were. Nobody is supposed to know about that. It will. Gah. Look. I haven't been at my bed. They're not fighting. They shouldn't bother me. And then there's the statue. They might you want to help me. You, Lucretia, hasn't been. Oh. If I did, do you think we'd be having? Hmm? I'll tell you this much. I hate. Oh, then you know. I lived through a pandemic. I think this game came out in 2021. Bumble along like nothing's wrong. While we're one bad decision away from being... Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is. I don't know. 
Corsa. No idea what you're talking about. Yes, so far. What are you? I'm just going to ask politely. And why should I? The one true god says that for my... Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe God hasn't noticed yet. But when he does, we're going to have a problem. So if you didn't catch it earlier, he's bothering this guy because he's into men. And he's a Christian, which... Um, Christians aren't well liked at this time. There is only one true God. And he laid waste Sodom and Gomorrah. Because of exactly this kind of thing. was about to get everyone else killed. I would want someone to stop me. I don't like where this is going. I have no idea Blackmail. what you're talking about. And unless you want your jaw broken, I think it's... I'll fix his rheumatism or whatever. And then you'll have to be nice. Seek a bow. I'm trying. I'm wondering if the magistrate gives me permission to kill. I can kill. He says so. Why? He's the one trying to prevent the law from being broken the most. Why would he allow me to kill somebody if it meant that we would all die. Then again, how could he know? Because if the rule was broken, they'd all be dead. It's a tricky, tricky, tricky mystery about how to deal with the assassin. Assassino. Well, good thing he stopped that boulder. That's a nice boulder. Everything's locked. Saving. Why do we have to save? Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? All right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Orpheus, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ogre. I got you, man. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? 
I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Ulfius. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of... Thank you. I'm crazy, I'll do it. Nah. Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how... My life. That's what's wrong. I borrowed money, and when I couldn't pay it back, I wound up. I'll be stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulatis Maliolus for the rest of my life. Yeah. I am out. Wherever you are, Sentilla, my love. I'm sorry. Ulpius, no! I. I can't believe he went through with it. So it seems like a lot of these people have to die for you to find out the solution to how to stop it. Well, I suppose Thank it you. means suicide isn't a sin under the Golden Rule. So I guess that means whichever god is responsible for it, it isn't mine. I'll have to let everyone know what's happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best... Jump? Oh, there's a hole in the floor now. That wasn't there before. Ah! All right, I played Assassin's Creed, so I should be fine. Yeep. Did he somehow not hear this go down? And now? <laughs> there has been a jump button this whole time and it's not A? I pressed all the buttons multiple times. I feel anger. As a fully explorer before getting kicked out. Open up! Haha, <laughs> pool. I assume that must be Claudia's wife locked behind the door. So now I'm in a sneak mode. Maybe I can steal his key from his back pocket. Just kidding. That's you not an option. This isn't Skyrim. To my villa from the balcony, a hundred feet above. That was either extremely reckless or impressively clever. Well, I like to think of it as clever. To see me? I'm Maliolus, and if it wasn't for this interruption, I'd be practicing. I'm glad you asked. 
I'll find them. These good people have. By declaring there's no such thing as the golden rule. Wait, don't tell me you've fallen. The person making a claim bears the onus of proving that claim. Can you do that? Can you prove the golden rule is real? Yeah, but you won't remember it. Nonsense. There's no way you can prove that. If it was real and you've seen someone break it, then you'd be dead already. Bingo. I disagree. I'll be guided by what is best for the city's people, and that means giving them the freedom. Surely, you're not one of those people who believes everything you read. As if a lie could be transformed into the truth by the simple act of writing it down. You mean that book next to a golden statue in the theater? Tell me, how do you know that statue wasn't put there by Sid? What? Oh, I see what's happening <laughs> here. Another poor, vulnerable soul taken in by Sentius's machinations. He won't get away with... True, but that is... I'm afraid not. We're stuck down. You mean the ch... <laughs> Are you insane? Why would I... You fool. The many shall suffer. Oh God, I don't know how to get out of here. I don't know how to get out of here. I don't know how to get out of here. Um, I'm locked in. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I've already been through this whole place. There's no way out. Okay, so it didn't end the way I thought. You leaving, Sadie? All right. Well, good night. Thanks for hanging out. Let's try this again. Did you just that well? Huh. What? Don't talk nonsense. How? Nonsense! This is nonsense! I don't know how you know about my plan. And now, I'm going to enjoy watching to Now, get out of here! Get... Okay, let's try that one more time. I'm gonna say... Dominus Rick ratted him out. Nonsense! I don't know. And no now. Hmm. It's crazy that this guy turned straight to skeleton right away. Still um, here. How do you propose I leave, good sir? I think maybe the assassino will Albert. A new face. Give me his bow. I don't I'm quite he asked for but here I find myself reminded of an especially pertinent would you like to hear 
Wonderful. We go like this. Baltus and Philemon were an old married couple living a humble life in a small town. One night, the town gets a visit from a couple of vagrants. They go from door to door, asking for a place to stay the night. Of course, being vagrants, they're turned away sharply from house after house, a thousand in all, until finally they come to the little cottage where Baltus and Philemon live. Now the kind old couple had very little to offer, but nevertheless, they invite these strangers into their house, and the they begin gulping down the old couple's wine, so much, and then she notices something strange. Her wine pitcher keeps drinking, says to her husband, Philemon, I think these men are gods in disguise. In me and the vagrants metamorphosize and reveal themselves to be Jupiter, the king of the gods, and Mercury, the trickster. They confide they didn't mind the meager offerings. They were just pleased. You have passed our test, but everyone else in this city failed. So we are going to destroy this place and everyone in it. So old Baltus and Philemon escape up into the mountains safely. Meanwhile, Jupiter carries through with his threat. Some say the moral of that story is that we must all honor the sacred, but I like to think it's that we should always show compassion to the A cynic philosopher might take that view, but it... Oh, oh Livy. So there's nothing to track as far as getting the bow. Ah, a new face. I hear we had... Well, I'm an architect. Help out with repairs and try... But you probably don't want to hear about... <laughs> You wouldn't believe how often there are much, but once you get used. Oh, I just mean I grew up in the Batavi tribe, far to the north in Novio. They weren't nearly as. Some people say, I mean, which means one of two, and I'm pretty sure. Good. Then I hope the first is to leave. The second is to. Good question. It's best if I say no more, but. Well. Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the... Re My vote isn't... Well, help out, but... Oh, I'm glad you asked. Some of these shrines were constructed hundreds of years ago. Which means... But there's one thing that puzzles me. The oldest shrine... That does explain why there was mention of um, Hercules earlier. Well, yes. That could be the reason... Or it could mean that there were Greeks living and worshipping here before the Romans arrived. Who really built this? If only there was a way we could do it with the people who came here before us. Hey, Sam, what's happening? They could tell. Cheers, thank you for the like. Gladly. Personally, my favorite thing about this place is the... They're an ingenious feat of Roman engineering with a very practical purpose. They take fresh water coming from outside the city it's funneled below the palace and into a cistern beneath the great temple some of it flow and the rest is funneled to the shrine of Proserpina that fills the lake and allows us hey not so loud just talking about that could anger the gods for I'm not saying it's possible but you'd have to you mean the great temple the way it's positioned so prominently looking down on us it's unfortunately someone else went out of their way to you see usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god like proserpina or diana or apollo usually that god is obvious there's an obelisk out the front 
which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god. And of course we can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the temple of Saturn in Rome. And that, so we're all left wondering, which god is unless somebody figures out a way of... Of course. Nice to... Okay. Welcome to so my the god that's doing place. this is likely Greek. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more. I must ask you to have you not been told that. Oh, then I suppose this duty falls to. Of course, the first question many of us ask when we first arrive is how do I escape? It is only natural after all. And scaling the cosmic wall is out of the question, for it is simply too steep and too far. But as they say, if the wind fails, use the oars. And here the second option is to leave the way we came in, through the shaft above the background. See, the shaft is quite high, but if one gathered up enough wood, one could make a series of ladders and climb one's way out. I admire your enthusiasm, my friend, but if there was an attempt, made by Rizzo. They even decided to keep records of their escape attempts for posterity. Unfortunately, as soon as they began to carry the first ladder down the hallway, they heard the godlike voice sank the entire city. And with that, so it seems that to merely attempt escape is to invite the wrath of whichever god oversees this place. And so I say, it is best to not... Ah, yes. Have you not heard the tale of the god Hades? He was the first to learn this dreadful lesson when he abducted Persephone and imprisoned her in the under. When Demeter, the mother of Persephone, learned of this, she did not punish Hades, the guilty one. Instead, she changed the climate of Earth so that it became hot and dry. Nothing grew. The innocent people died by the tens of thousands until at last... So yes, we know the truth. If we are to survive, I say we must keep the simple wisdom of Thales of Miletus, first of the seven sages of Greece, who said, avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. It does, doesn't it? But it, for even if 99% of us adopt this principle that will, sadly, no matter how well we protect ourselves, the life's work of many good people can be undone in the blink of an eye by a sin. Ah, uh, the vo But on... For all their grim and haunting pot might a good question. Hmm. I remember I had just been to Rome to sell an extraordinary selection of wares, and drawing in coin, I decided to sell. I rented a prestigious villa by the Tiber, invited over a few, sons, and we began making our way through some of the most exquisite wine money could. Now I have had visions and awoken in strange places before. I have even found myself naked in the desert sands more than once. But more than once. Compared to this. this time, I remember people screaming, then falling into a void as empty as time before creation, gasping for air, and then nothing. When I regained my faculties, I was lying naked by the banks of the Tiber, God know how many miles from my villa. Indeed. I'm lucky I was carrying a little extra weight, <laughs> I believe it. In any case, it seems I've been rescued and resuscitated. I went to find firewood for his campfire, stumbled across a cave, and discovered that trapdoor temple. And here I am. Anything you like. Yeah, I see. So people have gone through the same thing as me. A mysterious stranger saved them at the temple's edge. In the river. Decius could be less busy. Hi, Virgil. How much would you want to make me a bow? For the last time, Decius, I'm not making you a bow. But why? You know why. Then how am I going to defend myself against someone else with a weapon? There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the magistrate's weapons ban, so it wouldn't be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else seems to know it. Uh. She weeps by the water flow. Welcome back. Nice to talk. 
I want you to make me a bow. Wonder how much one of these salvage stranger and what you mean how did I all right? Well, you see, I'm in the business of procuring mostly sculptures, vases, the occasional slave, <laughs> fetch a magnificent price in Roman ice, have myself a nice little shop in Rome, just off the forum. Lots of foot traffic and close to the docks. Good place to be when the fires broke out. See, about seven months ago, half of Rome caught on fire. Everyone who couldn't get to an outer gate was running for the river, hoping to escape by barge. So I gathered my coins and some priceless vases into a cart and had my most loyal slave girl, a pretty young thing named Acampha, push it for me. All the way down to the river, I'm elbowing for a stampede of people, turning back now and then to make sure she hasn't legged it with my butt. To my surprise, we make it. And I see this barge loading up, and it's so full it's almost sinking. But a captain's happy to take my coin. So I start boarding, and then he puts his hand on my chest, and he says, No, too heavy. The cart or the girl. So I did what anyone would have done. <laughs> the cart. Of course I chose the cart. Of I mean, course. I always buy a new slave girl, if I still have my money. So I put me hand in the car, and I guess she realised what was happening because those pretty black eyes of hers go all wide. And in one swift motion, she topples the whole bloody thing into the tie bar. Naturally, I dived in after it, hoping to salvage my fortune. Only, I guess I must have hit my head or something because everything went black. When I came to, I'd washed up on the riverbank not far from here with nothing in the world but... Couldn't agree more. I mean, sure, I'd lost a few thousand denarii, but I've already made it back. And this, look around you. There must be more gold in here than in the treasury of Rome. I'm afraid not. If you're desperate, I did hear that Aurelia down at the tavern claims some people here are lip. It's terrible for inflation, is what it is. There's so much gold. Of course, I have an idea for generating real wealth. But what I need is a bow. Just. A simple composite bow. I've scoured this city from top to bottom with no luck. But if you happen to... Oh, well, technically, yes. Thank you, friend. Very well. I'm not sure where the bakery is, but there's a talk to her. Never talked to her anymore. about the rules like galerius he's nice i like galerius if you help make him magistrate he can hannibal said it was in the cisterns i can't remember what it was just that it was way up bye bye Maybe with my newfound jumping ability, I can get to that hole in the cisterns. Salve again, friend. I went and did as you. How is it possible that you've just arrived? Uh, you're toying. Really cool with me, concept. Right? Wait. Reliving it the same day over and over again. Every time something goes That's wrong, the only way you could have being known. able to do everything better and literally changing the dialogue as you oh, go along to reflect name? that. Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. He was forced to push a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom, forcing him to start over and over Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same 
futile task over. Tantalus was made to grasp the fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. The Pelodes had to keep fetching water in a sieve. Oh, and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round forever. And I found almost all those people. Side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld. Anyway, I don't know which god you managed to upset to get yourself into this position, friend. But so I'll tell you what. I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you. You anytime, friend. Now, I'm going to keep your secret. Although, it's not as if I'll remember this next time. Oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not wanted. May fortune. I saw you slide down that rope. And strange, too, since that device you use is exactly the same as one I've been working. Oh, of course. It's because I already gave it to you in a previous time. Anyway, I'm sorry to ask, but is this there is my chance you'd be willing to... Well, I've been trying to get this rare flower from the rock spire in the middle of the lake. It's too steep to climb, so I hung a rope over the lake and made this pulley device, only I, uh... Do you think you could use the device again? And... Oh, thank you. All right. So much to do. At this point, I basically just gained the tasks. Hey, do I really have to use the rope pulley? Can I just climb? I guess so. they expect of me, but let's see what I can pull off here. So I gotta jump like immediately. gotta do it like immediately i thought maybe wait like a quarter second nah that's too late and i'm scared that if i press b immediately to jump it ain't gonna be good Son of a bitch.
They really made this a daunting, terrible, hard task. I landed on it. Looks like there might be a way in the other side. Looks like there's no way in on the other side. Oh, oh Finkelsteins. Some of these places are hard to get to. You can parkour your way up on the roofs. Hmm. I'm sure there's something, something you can do with all that. All right, well, let's get this flower. Oh, I finally did it. Where's this way go? Honestly, a lot of paths I haven't explored here, it seems like. Hmm. Okay. Oh. What's this? Oh, you're coming down. Okay. Hmm. Some trickery to this game. Hmm. I can't get over to the aqueduct. So some areas are cut off, some aren't.
before I complete any more, I want to search the rest of the city. Oh. Okay. Definitely some more zip lines than I thought. This guy. So I'm going to move to plaque from here. Okay. Maybe the bow we need to uh, possibly carry out a murder. I'm still pretty sus as to whether or not I can do that. Is around here. Ooh. I'm also confused on. What we're doing here with these branches. No, oh, hello. There's something else hiding all the way up there. Oh, that's the tortured wheel guy. Didn't work out. I think my last save might have been before I got that flower. Oh boy. Alright. So that's the only thing I've done since that's any important. Eek. Oh hell no. Not going all the way around again. <laughs> I've done this a gazillion times. I like six. It's too much. Nope. I got it this time. I did it um, two tries ago. I just won't kill myself anymore. Okay. By this time, I meant this time that's happening right now. Okay. No! It's such a pain in the ass. Here's the thing. And if you miss two, you gotta run all the way back up. Takes like, I don't know, not as fast as the loading screen minute and a half maybe not that long probably just a minute this is the worst probably the worst thing in this game it's a game based on dialogue talking your way out of situations and everything else and here we are oh trying to get a flower off of a small peak. No! No! I was on it! It said take! Not the first time that's happened. It's like three times that I fell 
directly at it. And somehow... Chipped off. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> There's such a perfect, perfect frickin' little point you gotta get to. That time it felt slow. Was it not slow? It felt slow. I'm gonna do this if it's the last thing I do because I've already done it three times. But you not see the margin for error here is so small. Last time I did, there must be a quarter second difference between what I did the last two times where I was over and under. Okay, okay, and we're saving right there. Never doing that again. <laughs> that means this is my only playthrough of this game. He's a grumbly man. Salve. Salve, Dooley. How are you doing today? I'm sad. Am I going to die in here? I don't think so, my Perhaps. friends. Perhaps. It's election day today. Perhaps our new magistrate will be kinder than Sentius and let you out. I hope so. Galerius, what happens when you die? You're not going to die anytime soon, Dooley. My mother told me when you die, a fairy man helps you cross a river. And your spirit lives on. Hello. Yes, we have, but okay. I basically just need you to stop talking. Salve again, my sister. Pe now. Brilliant! You did it! Well done! This is going to make her so happy. Equitia, I mean. Now I just have to figure out how to. What I really want to do is walk up to her, give her the flower, and confess I've been madly in love with her since the moment we... But on the other hand, I can't shake the feeling that the consequences could be... terrible. You mean, aside from her execution? You see, Equity yeah, I guess that's pretty is a bad. Vestal priestess, meaning she's taken a vow of chastity, the breaking of which would be an extremely serious affront to the gods and a capital offense. Even if she was just suspected of being unchaste, it could lead to her execution. Unchaste Vestals get buried alive. Oh, and I'd get flogged to death for good measure. But at the same time, she's just so kind and graceful. And I feel so much love for her that if I don't tell her, it'll burn a hole in my chest. Yeah, all right, calm down. Do. What do you think? What would you do? Hmm. Now that I hear you say that out loud, I hear how crazy it is. I think maybe I... What I need is a go-between. Someone who can... What do you say? Wonderful! Now, all I need you to do is give her the flower and tell her it's from a... That's corny, but all right, I'll do it. Hold on, hold on. Salve again? Now, what's on your mind? Well, it's a long one and kind of sad, but I don't mind telling it. I'm a farmer. Always have been. I grew up in a small village. No subtitles, so I gotta listen to him this time. With my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up. But by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground and our cart was empty that was my first encounter with legions my mother died of a broken heart soon after and things went downhill from there I took over the farmstead but I was young it was a struggle more raiding started before too long we'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing 
Our stores pillaged. These legions of thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. I got my father's old axe, pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. But there were more of them. I never saw how many, because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. It still burns whenever I think about it. Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. And it wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So, then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome. To be sold to the highest bidder. I spent a few years working for my new master. Learning the Romans' ways. Romanized my name and everything. Tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me. And I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. I've never seen anything like it. I know how this Human goes. Beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. Next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. Stumbled across this place and hmm. started my life over again. That's what I thought too for a while. So everyone here fell in the river, blacked the out, got dragged out by a stranger, yeah. even me two thousand years later. Had my own farm again, safe from the grass and led into this place. Oh, so I thought. Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then what if he's right? So, it turns out our dear old magistrate is no better than the legion thugs who took everything from me. I'm right back where I began. But don't you worry, Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his one day. He'll get his. Uh, forget I said that last part, will you? I get carried away sometimes. Thanks, friend. I'm anyway. Well, as much as I'd love to get out of but Centilla, if anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. But she'd never tell the likes of me. Go on. All right. I need to get to where subtitles are working. Salve now. Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, but I say, let's spend less time on... Uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. Even I could do a better job. Me! Of... I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God's... But from what I hear, Maliola says the election's stitched. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom. So, I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. And how could you... Oh, wait. You've seen it in another time loop, haven't you? Well, in that case, we need to find a way to make sure Maliolus loses. Better yet, get him to withdraw altogether. If you can do that, and Sentius is the only candidate left, I'll run against him. Deal? All right. All right. Let's see, oh man. So many things to run up here. I got a bajillion missions. Okay. Well, we're gonna save her there. End it for tonight and we'll uh, pick this up tomorrow and learn more about what's going on. It's craziness, we don't know who the god is that we're looking at. 
we don't know uh, how to deal with the assassin or a lot of other things. So we're going to figure it all out tomorrow. Anyway, it was a good stream. Let's do some shout outs to uh, all you fine people out there that took the time to support in whatever way you could. Keep in mind anyone else who has yet to can still drop a like, follow, comment, share, stars, any of the things you want to. So uh, let's start out with saying thank you to William for the like and share, Uncanny for the like, Kayla for the like, Sam for the like and share, um, Sadie for the 50 stars, like and the share, Levon for the like, Susan for the like, and Sam for the like. I think I would wager there's another like in here. But I don't know it. Nope, that's it. All right, so that's everybody. Uh, and then the question tonight was, how many legs does a lobster have, counting the claws? Because uh, apparently the claws technically count as legs. Is it 6, 8, 10, or 12? I'll show you guys the results right now. Uh, nobody voted for 12. That's correct. And I know it would be easy to get confused how many legs they got. So there's 13% voted for six. That is incorrect. Uh, eight, if you're not counting the claws, you're correct. And that's where the large majority voted for 63%. Uh, so that is incorrect. The correct answer is 10. Only 25% voted for that. Congratulations to the 10%. Uh, well done. Well done. So yeah, it was a great stream. A lot of fun. This game is awesome. Uh, I'm very intrigued by what's going on. A lot of dialogue, more than I would generally say I'd like, but so far it's been interesting enough that uh, it's keeping me in it. So we'll keep uh, running with this tomorrow. I can only assume that we'll have this one done before the end of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we got a couple other things to try uh, that we purchased with all the stars donated um, from the last call. So thank you guys very much for that. Appreciate it. And again, yeah, we'll be back on tomorrow, 6 to 9 Central Standard Time per the huge. So join us and... Hopefully we'll figure out a little bit more about what's going on in the Forgotten City then. So until then, stay fresh, cheese bags. Deuces.